Hi everyone, for people who have been following me for the last three tutorials, this fourth tutorial is in line with that. If you remember in the last tutorial, we made it some user based slices. Now in this particular tutorial, I want to make your life easier. I want to show you how you can actually make the whole process much simpler. If you have the foresight in creating this website layer comp in different layers. For example, in the last example, we actually drew slices out of these three images. What I have done here is that I actually clubbed them into a group and they're all made in three different layers. If I click on my mid bar items and I go down, I can see my three images here. Okay, as you can see, they have been converted into smart object to help me make sure that I don't lose our pixels while, while making it smaller or bigger during this whole process. Now, if I click on layer four, which is this particular layer, and I go to layer, layer menu, I can see something called new layer based slice. If I click on this, a new slice will be created out of this layer. Similarly, if I click on the rest two images and I press shift, I repeat, I press shift to select both the layers and I go back to layer, you can see Photoshop is clever enough to actually add a small s. Because here, we are actually trying to make slice out of two layers, not one. You click on this and you get three new slices, which has been made purely out of layers. So, whatever is in the layer, it will become a slice becomes much easier the whole process now the best part is if I actually resize or move this layers anywhere the slice will follow it if I move this layer maybe, maybe towards the right now since I have two of the layers selected as you can see if I move them away the slice will actually get resized isn't it cool I press ctrl Z and I come back to my earlier uh, selection if I select all the three layers now and I press Ctrl T to transform it. If I want to make them smaller, for example, I can select and make them smaller. If I release the mouse, okay, I didn't press Shift. See, this is a problem which can happen if you don't press Shift. Ctrl Z, Ctrl T, and you press Shift and you resize accordingly. Yeah. So this is a great example why if you, you should actually go for layer based slices because the slices will move accordingly to it. If you look on top and you can see that I have a main navigation panel which I've, I've arranged in this particular order. I have a text and I have a shape as you can see the shape behind the text. So if I want to make a slice out of it, I'll select both the layers. I go to layers and I click on new layer based slices. Now you can see two new slices have been created. I'll zoom in to show you more. I have these two new slices. Now I obviously don't want to be them to be different. I would want them to be set, I don't want to be combined. To combine, you go to your layer, your slice select tool. Okay. You select your both the slices. You click on promote. After you have promoted it, you can right click and combine slices, which is great because this is the button I want for my website. And I want this together to be one image rather than two. So I have now manage to make slices out of the web page and elements that I want to make a slice out of and this is a great way of doing that because the slice will always follow wherever you move your elements into. So with this I end this tutorial. In the next tutorial I will be showing you actually how to optimize each slice. That's what we're aiming at all this while because we want to optimize our images in this website so that they take its optimum space, optimum size for the final website and I'll show you in the next tutorial how to do that.